Hello my wonderful biotechnicians and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we have for you an IISC Mid-Year Admissions 2022 for PhD notification and it's an online application process. So IISC puts out their notifications twice a year. So one round is already done. So right now they're putting out their notification for their mid-year admissions specifically for PhD. Well actually MTech as well but PhD is what is relevant to us. So let's take a look at the details. Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, needs no introduction and right now they are putting out their advertisement for their mid-year admissions for the year 2022. So applications are invited for admission to one that is the research PhD programs and two that is PhD external registration programs at the Indian Institute of Science. So we can check out what the departments that are advertising are and what is the eligibility criteria. So in general, their notification reads such as research programs, including PhD, that is external registration program. So participating departments and areas. So you have PhD in science that is participating, PhD in engineering and PhD in interdisciplinary areas. If you carefully look at it for PhD in science, the relevant ones for us are molecular reproduction, development and genetics. In the case of PhD interdisciplinary areas, it's biosystem science and engineering, which is relevant to us. The rest are a bit different because it's for more chemistry and physics and stuff like that. Okay, so now we'll be focusing mainly on the PhD in science and PhD in interdisciplinary areas because in the MTech sector we don't have anything relevant to us and also even the PhD engineering sector okay so coming to the eligibility so they have a table where you can check out the eligibility based on the qualifying degree and what they require in the terms of entrance test so in general for the departments that are relevant to us so we have first off that is PhD in science we have the Molecular Reproduction, Development and Genetics Department that is undergoing this media admission. So yes, they are participating in this media admissions. So the link for the department or the center and the unit is given over here. You can just click on it. It will redirect you over there. So the program eligibility is this is what it says. So master's or equivalent degree in any branch of science or bachelor's degree in any branch of medicine engineering, technology, agriculture, veterinary science, pharmacy or graduates of four year bachelors of science program. Okay, so you have master's degree or bachelor's degree or if you have a four year bachelor of science program in these particular areas, you can apply for this PhD. So what are the research areas? So gene regulation in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, host pathogen interactions, human genetics, cell biology, signal transduction, developmental biology, aging and model organisms, glycans and morphogenesis, early embryo development, stem cells and differentiation, molecular endocrinology, cancer biology, cancer stem cells, etc. So you have a varied range of research areas. So if you are interested, then do apply for this particular uh, department. The next one is the interdisciplinary PhD programs. Like I said, only PhD is relevant to us this time around for the mid-year uh, section. So in the interdisciplinary PhD programs, you have something like biosystems, science and engineering. Okay, so they are participating in this admission pro uh, process this year and this is the link for their unit which you can click on. So this is an interdisciplinary program that is offered by the Center for Biosystems Science and Engineering. So the basic qualification for eligibility is bachelor's degree in any branch of engineering, technology or graduates of four year bachelor of science program or MSc or equivalent degree in any branch of science with a minimum of two math courses beyond 12 standard with a minimum of two mathematics courses beyond 12 standard or medical degree at bachelor's or master's level in any specialization math in the 12th standard is preferred okay so areas of research being biodesigning biomechanics biomaterials biomedical instruments biotechnology biomedical imaging cell and tissue engineering computational bioengineering drug delivery immunoengineering so this is interdisciplinary area so if you are interested and if you're eligible do consider applying okay so they have a couple of notes as well. What does NetGRF include? The GATE, GPAT, NetGRF uh, and other national entrance exam scores should be valid as on 2nd January 2023. Okay. And also uh, if you are a candidate who had applied 
and got in for an interview that was held in June 2022 in any one of the above mentioned departments are also eligible to apply okay so you can reapply if you had already applied once before and you probably didn't get in okay reservation is also as per government norms now this is an online application process so the link to apply online is given at the bottom of this web page and this web page is linked in our description box so there is a non-refundable application fee that will be applied so you have rupees 800 400 and 2000 depending upon the category that you belong to okay and the mode of payment is online um payment mode is available so what are the important dates so the last date for submission of online applications is 31st of october so the application portal is open and your interview will be held in the month of november and the admissions i mean the course starts in next year january of next year okay so you have a quite a while to apply so do consider applying soon so if you want to check the notification for yourself it is given over here you can just zoom in and read out the whole notification and also if you want to apply online the link is mentioned over here you just have to click it and you'll be redirected to the page where you can apply for this mid-year admissions okay i hope this video was helpful in knowing that there are mid-year admissions happening at iese specifically for phd and interdisciplinary phd areas so i hope this video was helpful for you leave a like on this video and let us know in the comments what are the types of videos you want us to make i hope you're following us on all of our social media especially on telegram and whatsapp because people over there have already seen this opportunity okay so again turn on your post notifications and stay tuned because we have a lot of interesting stuff that is happening over at our channel and we'll see you in our next one take care